Emma had a birthday, and for her birthday she got these TV cups. We're going to use those today, and we got some TV oolong samples. What did we get? Taiwan High Mountain Oolong. Have Taiwan High Mountain Oolong. We've not had them. Okay. So your this particular sampler here has Taiwan Monkey Pick Tiguan Yin, Taiwan Jin Shuan Milk Oolong Tea. We've had that before. It was delicious. Taiwan Alley Shan Oolong Tea. Taiwan Dong Ding Oolong Tea, and then what we're trying, Taiwan High Mountain Oolong Tea. Okay, so Tea Vive is really, really good quality tea, and... We like it. I am seeing... And this is interesting. It's like... It's little tiny balls. Little tiny balls, because Oolong is rolled up. It's halfway between know, black but, and green. But this is like... Little tiny balls. Minuscule. You can't even focus on the, that on the camera. They're dinky, but... They're so tiny. What you can do, though, is hold up this whole little plate so they can see it. There you go. Okay. And so the instructions on this one, please. The instructions. We love TV. Brew guide. Brew at 212 for 35 minutes. Did you say 35 minutes? Three to five. Three to five Not minutes. Thirty-five. Yeah, they always like you to boil your tea. So I try it the first time the way they want, and then I lower the temperature if it ended up a little bit scalded. It's about to ding on our lovely Koozie Max evening tea kettle. Okay, so we're going to warm up warm the guy Wan. No, yeah, don't uh, pour anything else. So this little guy Wan is how we brew. You can brew a variety of different ways. All right. Gonna now warm. we pour. Just going to warm and rinse the leaves a little bit. And Already the water's slightly green. That's the initial color, and now the tea leaves are wet, and we can see what they smell like. Oh, I can smell them already roasty. Mm, very, very roasty, rich. and I love it. Smells fabulous. Okay, now. This is good. This one we're actually brewing. And with Gaiwan, you just have these teeny tiny amounts and you just keep reinfusing rather than going for multiple ounces at once. Whoop. And then she's got this filter here. We figured out how to use that. It filters out everything except for the clear water. So even though it looked like there was nothing in that pour, there's Look some there. stuff that it Can caught. You See those little teeny tiny leaves? And this is going to make the drinking experience better because there's going to be little to nothing left in the gut, um, in the cup, so you're not going to have all of those leaves interrupting your drinking. Now the color on an oolong is ever so light yellowy green, which I will show you. Mother. Did you see it? Did you see it? Hope you can see that. It's beautiful. It's a nice color. It's like, it's what you imagine when you imagine what the Chinese drink for breakfast. Just in case. There it is. We have multiple types of cups for just for this. Yeah, we like our see-through cups, but this one is not see-through, and this is what she wanted for her birthday, so we got it. Hmm. It's got a, a vegetal taste that predominates, mm -hmm. not so much fruity. Fairly light, would you say? Mm -hmm. Now, two years ago, if I had asked for a Gaiwan set, what would you have done? I would have said, what's a Gaiwan set? She's really gotten into tea. This is more astringent than the first one. There's just, there's something about drinking them in this one. It's more fun. Because it changes taste every time. But there's something about drinking it in this cup. Oh, you like the cup. Well, mm -hmm. this cup is palm-shaped. It's tiny and wide, and it's got Chinese characters in the bottom. I don't know what it says. This is still Infusion 2. And she likes her Gongdao Bay, which is basically a little pitcher. It's an equality cup. An equality cup. There are two main things that you do with this. You pour the tea through the filter into this so that it's um, leaf-free. And this is an equality cup, which means that the flavor of the tea is the same throughout when you pour it into the different guy wands that you're going to be using. Because you stop brewing once so it it's cups. in there. 
So, like, when we were doing that, I might give myself the last infusion and get the most flavorful. Or I might give myself the first infusion and get the least flavorful. Yes. Now, look how the leaves have unfurled. Wait, 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 wait. There's a red one. A red leaf? See that little bit of red? Mm, maybe. But look. See how big they are? Remember they were just teeny tiny pebbles? Like you could not even see them. But now it's pretty cool. Now like Like what happened? Get a little stem in there occasionally too. Alrighty. Number three. There are lots of things that influence the flavor of the tea that are actually under your control. You decide how much tea you put in there, how hot your water is, how long you brew it. How much water you put in there. And this is actually fairly important, but not a lot of people realize it. What your teaware is made of. I tested out um, one of my favorite teas with this versus with my clear guy one. And the clear guy one was a little bit more bitter but it was the same leaf. I was just pouring it without the filter and pouring it straight from here into my cup versus pouring it from porcelain into porcelain that is filtered into more porcelain. More vegetal this time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why are you making more? You haven't finished this. I have. There's more. Oh, goody. And she drinks it like a shot. <laughs> there wasn't that much in it. Yes. All right. Number four here. I would say we've started to get a mineral taste here. Mm-hmm. Number five, right? Mm-hmm. Let's smell the wet leaves. Ooh, that's good. Hmm. Roasty, but in a different way. Oolongi. Oh, the color is getting darker. Let me show you. That's all this one. Look at that, how yellow it is now. It wasn't like that before. By the way, today, the day that we're filming is Christmas Eve. So, we've already read the Christmas mm. story and already opened one present each. And tomorrow we're going to open the rest of them. Okay, now it's got bite to it. Let's see. Ooh. So I got to try it with cream, of course. Here we go. Because you know, I'm me. When I'm using these cups, I don't use cream. Because they're just so pretty and I like to see the bottom. Mm. I like cream. <clears throat> mm, mellows it out. All right, so go down there and check out these things because you can buy them too and sit here and drink with us. And until we see you again, make sure to make time for taking a good book. Ho, ho, ho.